Good morning, everyone. The game plan today is to drive and see beautiful stuff. So it's basically the same as it was yesterday. I tried to wake up for sunrise this morning. Sunrise is at 6.50, 6.50, 4.50 a.m. And my sleep schedule is not currently on a sunrise sleep schedule. I've been in the city for quite some time now and haven't had to wake up for sunrise. And I set my alarm for 4.10 and I do not remember it going off. I ended up waking up at like 5 something. It is currently 5.10 and I slept through my second alarm for sunrise. And it was overcast anyways, so I don't think I missed anything, but I will say that I have to put more effort into trying to wake up. So it's going to be two alarms tomorrow morning because all I really want to do is be able to get up, see where I'm at. I'm not trying to go on a hike or anything like that and take insane sunrise images. I just want to wake up and see where I am and see how it looks. Uh, that's definitely a big deal. But anyways, that's a little bit into what happened this morning. Let's get on the road. Let's find some cool stuff. Stoked for today. Canada is amazing. This was an absolutely gorgeous spot. And uh, I hope that these just continue along the way. Okay, we've got to make one small pit stop before we get on the road. What, did you think I wasn't going to get caffeine? But we're going to go to a world famous Canadian spot that I haven't been to yet. Pretty stoked. Uh, you guys probably know it. It's Tim Hortons. I'm sure all the Canadians that might be watching this vlog have been watching me go to McDonald's and stuff, being like, what are you doing? What are you, I mean, does it get more Canadian than a hockey stick door handle? No. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Can I get the Beebs remix, the largest size you have? <sighs> all right, ended up getting a coffee that's more Canadian than you could possibly imagine. That is themed after Justin Bieber called the Beebs and I'm just going to say Tim Hortons, the better idea is to make a coffee called The Rush. Hmm? So I've stopped in Clinton, Canada to stretch my legs, use a bathroom, and it seems that one of their main attractions is this cemetery right here. And they also have free parking. All right, so we just got to Prince George. It's gonna be the last big city for Whitehorse, which is gonna be days from now. And I realized that if there's any way I'm gonna be able to upload these videos, I'm gonna need some kind of better data plan because I ran out of high-speed data. So I'm gonna go in here and see if they'll sell me a one-month unlimited data plan because it's the only way these are gonna get uploaded in time. So here we go. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Okay, well that was unsuccessful. The max amount of data I can do on a prepaid plan for 55 Canadian dollars is eight gigabytes, which is one and a half videos. <laughs> uh, all I gotta say is North American data plans for phone stuff or just internet in general are kind of ridiculous, like how little they give uh, compared to pretty much the rest of the world. That includes Canada and the US, so. I'm gonna try TELUS. I just went to Bell. I'm gonna try one more. Actually, I'm gonna Google it first because it's a waste of time if I just walk in. And they tell me the same thing. So I'm gonna do that now. And then I'm gonna get food and then we're gonna get back on the road. A lot of driving today. That's pretty much, I mean, what this area is. It's way less interesting than it was yesterday. Started in the mountains, then ended up in a lot of lakes and plains. And it's just been, super rainy and overcast all day. So good day to drive, bad day to film and uh, take photos. So yeah.
Oh man, absolutely gorgeous. Sun is setting, it's like 9 p.m. right now. I've just been driving all day, still haven't found a place to park and sleep, <laughs> but uh, there's this really cool composition back here with this house and this really wispy cloud house. That's not a house. Uh, abandoned, abandoned house, old wooden house. I mean, I guess it was a house at some point. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I also tried to stop and take a photo of a bear, but he ran away, so I didn't get any of that. Oh man, spectacular. Just what a magical day. Started off with mostly rain all day and now we're here and it's just been absolutely incredible. So the only downside to this particular shot is that on video, it looks like there's light down here and up here, but it's actually pretty dark in the foreground uh, and all the light is on that cloud. So I'm gonna take a few more shots, get back in the car, get moving. <sighs> Life is good. Life is good. an absolutely magical evening again. I didn't even expect to do anything, get anything today, considering how rainy it was earlier. But just, I mean, you saw this, like where I am, just pulled off on the side of the road, uh, driving through British Columbia. Absolutely gorgeous. I know I keep saying that, I'm gonna have to look up some different words for uh, immaculate beauty. Um, which brings me to a very important part to this video. And you're watching this delayed, and I've explained it because I have no internet, I have no service, I have like a little bit of cell service and nothing to upload videos to. So you're gonna watch this on a delay. However, today is two days, so it's Tuesday, I released my video about the possibility of the end of this channel two days ago. And since then, I've got a ton of support, and it's been absolutely incredible. I will say that I didn't, make that video uh, for any type of cry for help or anything I didn't want or need a donation, but people have donated. And I just have to say that two people specifically, uh, Samuel donated $200 and Christopher donated $500. I have never, that is, I literally don't have words and when I saw those, I, I almost was like, I have to send these back. I don't, I don't deserve this. I don't, I don't know what to do with this money. So thank you if you donated and thank you to Samuel and Christopher for those amounts. And I would love if you guys just comment down below. Thank you, Christopher, or thank you, Samuel, because you guys are awesome. I cannot thank you enough. And I hope that this content provides something for you. I hope the content provides something for everyone. I, I know it's definitely providing something for me while I'm doing this. Oh, oh man, oh, absolutely gorgeous. Life is really good right now. And it's all because of the support of you guys. So thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna maybe sleep here, I don't know yet, but uh, there's one more thing we have to talk about. So keep watching, it'll probably be after dark. <laughs> uh, yeah, the sun doesn't set until 10.05. It's not even 10 yet, <sighs> crazy. Okay, see you soon. All right, let's talk about this trip. We are on day two, currently just finished. It is 10, 13 p.m. Not that it looks like 10, 13 p.m. Started at about 8 a.m. this morning. Uh, I don't drive straight though. I, well, I mean, I drive on the road straight, but I, stop a lot, stretch my legs, film stuff, might photograph something as you saw. 
So I don't driving driving for that long, that <laughs> that much at a time. Uh, but we still made a lot of distance today. But I wanted to go over our route. It's pretty simple, but I just wanted to have like a nice overlay or overview of the entire trip for every video. So I didn't do it on day one, so we'll go over that really quick. And then we'll go over what we covered today and kind of where we're headed. So let's take a look. All right, so here's the overview for the trip. I currently have Denali as the destination. However, that is not our actual destination. I am gonna go there, but I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna go first once we get into Alaska. We started the trip down here in Vancouver, and then I took the way, the route up to Whistler instead of going over here to this route. Uh, I don't know what actual cities are here. But this was absolutely worth it because this part after Whistler was gorgeous. And we actually stayed right here in Lillooet. So we only went from here to here. And then today we drove from here all the way to here. Definitely a lot of driving today. Get out of there, fly. Get out of there. And most of this was planes. But as soon as we got over here and we're currently in Houston, that is where we're at. That is where I'm parked. And as soon as we got around... Probably this corner right here, I could start to see all these mountains covered uh, in clouds and snow. Absolutely gorgeous with the sunset. And I think tomorrow we're going to drive through here. I might, I might get stuck there with all the beauty. Uh, and we may go down this way to the port of Edward and Prince Rupert. Not entirely sure yet. It's really going to depend on the scenery. The other thing is, right now I have, like I said, Denali in as a destination, but I know that we're going to get up here to Whitehorse and I'm probably going to take um, a few days off, a day or two, to just recoup, uh, gather everything, gather my, collect my thoughts, uh, and uh, kind of take a break from driving for at least a day, probably. But that is the current route. We have gone, I want to say, about 800 miles. Not entirely sure. Today we probably drove at least 500. I'll put it on the screen how far we drove today and how far we drove yesterday. That's the current route. That's where we're at. We still have a lot to go. The border is right there. So still a lot to do. And like I said, most of this was just planes today. Not very many photo spots or anything like that. So lots left to see. And I'm pretty sure all of this is going to be pretty epic. So I'm pretty excited. All right. It is 11.23 p.m. And I just started the edit on this video. I'm probably gonna do a little bit and go to bed. Sunrise is at 4.50 a.m., I believe. Um, I would check my phone, but I'm filming on it. Uh, so not gonna get much sleep, but I think again, I'm gonna wake up for sunrise and just look around, try to shoot something if it's nice, and then get some more sleep because uh, it's been long days plus editing every night basically uses up all my time. So I will see you guys again tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed. If you love the video, consider subscribing. And if you like the video, just like it. And don't forget to comment down below thanking Christopher and Samuel and everyone that helped, everyone that sent anything. Thank you. I'll see you again tomorrow. Later.